Released in 2022, this unlicensed 1-6 scale Chris Redfield from Resident Evil Village by Master Team is arguably the first time this character has had a proper update since his debut in this format from Resident Evil 5 by Hot Toys, which had since been well over a decade. For the mixed bag that is the head sculpt, I want to start by saying that it's got everything you would think of when you picture Chris in your mind. But when strictly compared to his appearance in Village, this portrait sadly falls a little short. Chris is pushing 50 during the Miranda incident, and Capcom did reflect this by updating Chris's model with many subtle details, yet they're somewhat subdued on this portrait, such as the frown lines between the brows, the pronounced tear troughs under the eyes, and the nasal labial folds between the cheeks and lips. Yes, I checked. It's a real word. Anyways, I'd argue that while this looks like Chris, the likeness does improve when obscured by shadows casted from particular lighting angles, which is something I'll try to do as much as possible for this review. And like the head sculpts, this costume overall looks good enough for the part, but it is not without flaws. Starting with the jacket, it's got the same imposing collar and lapels, even if they aren't nearly as big as they should be. Though I do like how Master Team made the collar stick out by not prefolding its back like in the game. The fabric is also very stiff, which is necessary for the collar to retain its stance, but it also makes the lapels a bit tough to hold down. The surface has this suede-like texture, so it doesn't have that sheen like it did in the game. It's also a bit of a dust magnet, but that's really no big deal. Otherwise, this jacket's complete with a vent and a shimmery inner lining. The tailoring is brilliant for Chris's form-fitting turtleneck shirt. The only thing I'm not sure about is the color. Now, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but I do believe Chris has always been in his tactical gears throughout Village, and that Capcom just threw on the jacket for theatrics. So if that's anything to go by, Chris's shirt should be dark gray. But Master Team had it in dark blue, so I guess I'll just have to roll with it. These pants are complete with the proper seams and pockets, and even the flaps are detailed on the flip side. The shoes are looking quite good as well. They're fully sculpted in hard plastic and are covered in a crisp texture and paintwork. As for articulations, Master Team had chosen a very muscular body to build this figure, which is very fitting for a man who once punched a boulder into submission. The only nit I have is that Chris's neckline should be even thicker, but that's tough to replicate without commissioning a custom body. Not to mention, these types of bodies usually aren't the most articulate, especially with the shoulders and elbows. There's also an additional layer on the pelvis to add to the physique, so the hip movements are further hindered. Lastly, it looks like the ankle joints are buried deep within the shoes, so there's basically no up and down motion for the feet. Chris can stand on his own just fine, but you'd be better off using your own display stand because this release doesn't come with one. Bummer. Next is a rather meek selection of accessories, but it is appropriate since Chris travels light for most of the game. First, we have the USM AI, which is Chris's starting pistol. Aside from the foldable stock add-on, the entire weapon is one sculpted piece. It looks roughly correct, but the Houndwolf squad emblem on the grip is missing, and the silver accents here should really be gold instead. The selection of gloved hands are typical but adequate, and they're each detailed down to the button on the cuffs. Last but not least, we have this beautifully sculpted baby that is Rosemary Winters herself. The head and hands aren't articulated, but they are separately attached to allow more room for details. The paint app is also very lifelike, with a faint cascade to highlight that baby hair. The yarn texture on the hoodie and the tiny wrinkles all over the pants are all sculpted with great finesse, though Rose would probably look more natural in Chris's hands if she was in a more curled posture with her hands tucked in. For the size comparison, we are starting with the OG Redfield sibling duel. RE5 Chris by Hot Toys, and RE Degeneration Claire by Hot Heart. Now, because my BSAA Chris had fallen apart over the years, I've since moved the head sculpt to a TTM-19 body and slapped on a set of bootleg Stars costume, so the height here is not accurate at all. Then we have a few members from Stars: Jill Valentine, the master of unlocking, Rebecca, is that you, Chambers, and the one and only, Albert Wesker. Chris is listed as around 6 feet tall in the RE wiki, meaning the height of this figure is bang on at exactly 12 inches. And finally, here we have Leon Kennedy from RE6. I guess I'm still salty from the fact that Hot Toys had completely ditched Chris from their RE6 VGM lineup. That was 5 years ago, but at least now I can have these two standing side by side. So there you have it, the 1-6 scale Chris Redfield by Master Team. While it generally looks the part, this figure is riddled with some degree of inaccuracies in nearly every aspect, which is kind of unusual for Master Team's typical work. 
Even so, the build quality is excellent. And speaking with a personal bias, I really enjoyed this figure, but mostly because an update for this character is long overdue. So if Chris is missing from your Resident Evil collection as well, then this release might just fill the void. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.